Hey everybody, welcome to my video about iPhone audio sharing with iOS 13. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to share the song you're listening to or the movie you're watching on your iPhone or iPad with a friend using this feature, what headphones are currently supported, and what iPhones will work with this feature. So stay tuned! First off, to use the new audio sharing feature, you'll need to be running iOS 13 or the new iPad OS and have one of the following devices. An iPhone 8 or newer, including all the iPhone 10, 10s, and 11 variants, a 12.9 inch iPad Pro 2nd generation or newer, iPad Pro 11 inch, iPad Air 3rd generation, iPad mini 5th generation, or a 7th generation iPod Touch. On the headphone side, audio sharing is only compatible with a limited set of Apple made headphones, but the list is growing. As of this video, audio sharing is compatible with all versions of AirPods, including the new AirPods Pro, the Beats Pro, PowerBeats 3, Beats Solo 3 Wireless, the new Beats Solo Pros, Beats Studio 3 Wireless, and Beats X. The execution of audio sharing is actually really quite simple. You'll first need to have your own AirPods or compatible headphones attached and active with some form of media, whether it be audio or video. Both sets of headphones being used have to be on the list of supported headphones for this feature to work. I tested starting the share audio feature from Apple Music, VLC, and the YouTube app. It worked from all of them. From the Music app, choose the audio output menu. From VLC, choose the AirPlay button. YouTube was a bit more involved, but still pretty simple. Choose the Cast button, then choose AirPlay and Bluetooth devices. Regardless of the media app you start it from, it takes you to the same audio output screen. You can also access the audio output from Control Center as well, just by going to Control Center and tapping the audio output button. Once you're in this menu, tap Share Audio. In the first example, I'm going to use a friend's set of AirPods. Just open them up close to your iPhone, and you'll get a screen asking if you want to temporarily share audio with them or connect them. Just choose Temporarily Share Audio. Then you'll get a screen that asks you to press the button on the back to initiate the temporary pairing. Then they'll connect. Now you're sharing the audio from your iPhone. The process is similar with Beats Studio 3s and all the other headphones I was able to test this with. Just make sure they're turned on and close to your iPhone. Then follow the on-screen instructions. It's very user-friendly. To adjust the volume, you have two options. First, you can adjust each set of headphones individually, or you can use the master volume in the audio output window to change them both at the same time. When you use the volume buttons on the left side of your iPhone, it changes the master volume. You can also change the volume from Control Center. The volume control on the main screen changes the master volume to change them both at the same time. Or you can 3D press on the volume to access the individual volume controls. One cool thing I found in testing was that it appears the custom double tap setup of the guest AirPods appears to work. My friend's AirPods I tested this with had his right AirPod set up to the next track, and the left one was set to play pause. When we listened to the music together, his double taps worked as he had set them up. He could move to the next track with his right double tap and play pause with his left. Then we tried it together. He stopped the music with his double tap, then I restarted the music with mine. Even when I tried this with my other friend's Beat Studio 3s, the play pause button worked as well. I thought it was pretty cool that you could both control the audio from your own headphones. When you're finished sharing, it's pretty easy to turn off audio sharing as well. Turn off audio sharing, just go to the audio output screen and tap the circle check button on the right of the ones you want to disconnect. Audio sharing is a really handy feature for traveling with a friend. Now you can watch a movie, TV show, or even listen to music together. I've started using this at the gym when I work out with a friend sometimes. How do you use audio sharing? Feel free to share with us in the comments below. And if you get a chance, please don't forget to check us out on Patreon at www.patreon.com slash techirl. I'd really appreciate your consideration. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to ring that bell and subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.